Hello. <clears throat> How are you? Impressions? Uh, a really good first day. Uh, I thought that the veterans really, really did a good job of coaching the, the young guys on how to practice and, and what our expectations are around here to practice. Um, all right, you can tell our guys are in great shape. Uh, they're strong. Obviously, it's day one, short, uh, short practice, no pads on. So, you know, not going to glean a whole lot other than uh, a guy's effort uh, and intensity. And I, I thought that was to our expectations. What's the, um, are those extra paddings? linemen are wearing or there's a sensors or no it's it's extra padding um you know there is some science out there you know a lot of the um the big guys concussions come from repetitive blows obviously they're not high impact high speed blows to the head mm -hmm. but it's a repetitive thing so um you know more and more schools are going to uh, those pads in practice just to um soften some of those uh, repetitive blows that's cool so you, you expect, expect them to wear those all practice? Correct. All year? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Yep. Okay. O-line, D-line? O-line, D-line, linebackers. Yep. Did we read anything into the fact that it was a shorter than scheduled practice? Was that because they were doing everything right? Or? Uh, well, that that's one, certainly. But, um, you know, we, we did a lot of research um, over the off season in terms of the, the sports science. You know, we, we've got a fantastic new sports science guy that um, we're, we're very calculated nowadays in terms of, uh, the length of practice and really uh, to be honest with you a couple things one uh, we had a lot of guys healthy uh, and two we had 110 instead of 105 which is the first time you know the NCAA has bumped that number up for training camp so we were actually able to go back to back huddles when we went seven on seven in team so we got a ton of reps in a short amount of time so um, Hopefully, you know, as long as we stay healthy, we'll, we'll continue to do that. You ranked 21st on the coaches' poll. I feel like that's justified, and I know you're on the panel. So. I, I don't. The only one that matters is the one at the end. Mm -hmm. Can you say where you voted, Peggy? Uh, I can, but I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a range? No. <laughs> the, the players yesterday seemed like we haven't earned anything. Just speak into that, you know, we're just working and you know, winning every game, every practice. Do you sense a little bit of that attitude, a whole lot of that attitude this year? Like, we haven't done anything, we won a game, we won a bowl game. Yeah, I think there's um, there's momentum. Yeah. I, I, I don't think that, you know, anybody can deny that fact, not just because we won a game in January. I mean, that feels like it was seven years ago. Uh, the momentum was created in the off season, in how hard our guys worked, how much we developed, how much our veterans uh, developed as leaders. And so I think there's a, a quiet confidence maybe that we, we understand, um, you know, we, we don't need to be concerned about what the public thinks of us right now or what the media thinks of us right now. We need to be concerned with uh, what the guys in that bunker in that team meeting room and on that field, our coaches and players think about us, and uh, we'll, we'll worry about the rest of the stuff as it comes. But, uh, you know, the number one pillar in our program is to go 1-0. and And um, in every rep, every minute of a meeting, every uh, meal, every class, you, you name it, is to compete uh, to win whatever that is. And, uh, you know, I think our guys have, have really bought into that. Tom, you um saw Deshaun Jameson out there in orange today. Is that kind of how you guys are going to run him, you know, offense one day, defense one day, both? I don't, I don't know. We, we haven't – we've talked about it, but we haven't settled on, on much right now. Um, I, I think right now you'll see him go through um, the first couple days of installation on offense, and then he'll probably go through some drills on Sunday on defense. Uh, I don't know that we'll get him in – in a team or seven on seven setting on defense for probably a few days because offense, you know, it takes a while to kind of understand what's going on. But in the near future, in the, in the short term here, in the next few practices, they'll definitely be working some defense, yeah. Is he your only guy that you're going to have on offense and defense, or are there some other candidates for that? No, nah, that, he, he's, he's it off the top of my head, yeah. I know that 
no pads isn't real football, but how, how important are these first few days before you get to actually start hitting? What are you wanting to accomplish before the full contact starts? Effort, you know, that's the biggest thing. Uh, you know, learning how to practice, <clears throat> having a sense of urgency, making sure that, that we're able to um, think when we're tired, play when we're tired, react when we're tired, chase the ball on defense, run around, body up people on, on offense, and um, you know, just go really hard. We, we, we can coach all the you know, footwork mistakes and all that, but um, you know, we need to see guys running around and straining physically and mentally in days like today. Going into your second year, do you feel like you have to coach that less, that you maybe have some older guys that are willing to speak up before you do and tell guys, hey, full effort? Oh, man, much less. I get to, I'm coaching much more football than I am than I was last year. Uh, it's refreshing, uh, to be honest with you. We're not a finished product by any stretch of the imagination. There's still times when um, our culture needs to be uh, reconfirmed uh, from time to time, but uh, it's it's much less now than, than it was at this point last year. Along those lines, did you have, uh, now that the ceremony's over, did you guys have more guys qualify for Champions Club this it's, year than? It's the most we've ever had. Yeah, 75% yeah. of the team. Really? All 10 units, including the specialists, were uh, had over 50%, which meant all of our coaches got to eat the, the good meal. <laughs> yeah. uh, under 50% in a unit means the coaches have to eat with the non-champions um, and we're actually in our tight ends and our specialists we had a hundred percent so do you have anybody in crimson say it again do you have anybody in crimson oh a ton yeah still yeah oh yeah oh yeah yeah okay so that's yeah. that's a ever churning thing well uh, the, the it it has to do with everything in the program not okay. just effort or weight room a lot of it has to do with with academics and the necessity for um study hall because in that group it's a mandatory eight hours study hall a week. Right. Green is six hours a week. And then gold is scheduled as needed mm -hmm. in terms of study hall. So a lot of that has to do with academics. How much do you think, you last one? Sorry, Coach. Uh, how much do you think some of these freshmen are going to be pushing some of these older guys? And should some of these older guys be on alert that uh, the competition is going to be getting tougher with some of these uh, freshmen coming in that want to compete and make an impact? Yeah, I told them last night in our team meeting that, you know, we, we've got some really talented freshmen that are going to come in and compete. And uh, you, you as a veteran, as a maybe even a, 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 a guy that's a returning starter, you've got two choices. Uh, improve, develop, as we say, uh, or get passed by. And so I, I, I really do think you're going to see a lot of these guys get pushed, which is a really, really good thing. No. Like huge yeah, him, him, and Brennan Eagles yeah. are some some big-bodied wideouts. That's for sure. Yeah. Sir, one more last one in the back group. The shirt is that a special teams thing? Is that a Frank Denius thing? Yeah. Um, we we paid tribute to Mr. Denius uh, in uh, before practice. We had a moment of silence and, and said a prayer by the monument that that we set up for him out there. Uh, our all five of our special teams units, the kickoff, kickoff return, punt, punt return, and field goal are uh, named in, in honor of someone uh, in the military that has an affiliation to the University of Texas. And so uh, our kickoff team, even last year, uh, a lot of people don't know this, was named uh, in honor of, of Mr. Denius uh, and, and his, uh, I believe, was op Operation Cobra Strike was the one that he, he went. It was either and forgive my, my history, it was either the one where he went to Normandy or the Battle of the Bulge, I can't remember which one, and then uh, these two insignias right here are the insignias of the different platoons that he served in, in World War II. So uh, I felt it only appropriate we give these t-shirts each week to the uh, starters on the kickoff unit, and um, I felt on a day like today when uh, we were going to be paying tribute to him that, that it would only be appropriate that I wear his, his shirt around um, the entire practice. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Coach.